Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy. Of course, springtime means babies. And I mean, does it get any cuter than a baby chicken? Of course, called a chick. And look at this little guy. He's so small. But from what I understand, he rules the roost. He's a, kind of like the head chick of all these chicks that you see behind me. But guys, chickens are such neat animals. And unfortunately, people like to make fun of them and they're goofy. But listen, they're so amazing. And they're actually descendants of the red jungle fowl. Um, all chickens are. And he, the crazy thing is, is that they, they actually, they were first domesticated by humans for fighting. It had nothing to do with eating them. It was all about fighting these chickens way back in ancient times. Well, of course, as time went on, we found that they were tasty. No offense, little buddy, this guy's not gonna be eaten. And so then they were bred, of obviously, for food and, of course, for egg production. And get this, guys, there's an estimated 25 billion chickens in the world. That's more than any other bird species combined, obviously, more than humans as well. So there are chickens everywhere. Now, the cool thing about chickens is that they actually can fly pretty decent, not long distances by any means, but high enough to get up into a tree or over a fence or something like that. And I think a lot of people are always surprised by that. They, they are a pretty strong bird. Now, the females, they're called pullets until they lay eggs, and at that point, they are called hens. And uh, this little baby here, obviously has a lot to say. Now, we're excited to have these guys here at the zoo. They're gonna be part of, of course, our chicken collection, so you can, of course, feed them here at the zoo, which is gonna be a lot of fun. But nonetheless, uh, maybe the next time you see a chicken, you think a little bit more about them, because get this, even though they look goofy and act goofy, pretty smart birds, and I have trained many chicken in my day, and they're actually pretty smart animals. You can train them to do quite a bit. And one weird fact I gotta tell you, because I love for you guys to go out and do your own research, look up the headless chicken. There was a chicken that was actually headless for I believe 18 months, and it survived without its head. It's the craziest thing. It was like back in the 30s. Look it up, it is the weirdest thing to ever see, but it survived somehow. I don't know how, but research it, pretty cool. But guys, until next time, I wanted to introduce you to these incredible little chicks. We will see you here at the zoo. Tweet, tweet.